Hi everybody. Um, today I'm going to do a um, tutorial on the Free Tress Bohemian Crochet Weave. This is what the Bohemian looks like. This is a 30 and then this one is a 27. This one is a 1. I like a whole bunch of colors in my hair because it's my personality. I love those colors together. Um, black and brown and blonde. I think they look really good together. So I braided my own hair. Um, <laughs> in the back is a hotmess.com. Um, but like I said, it's my um I say my third time braiding my own hair, like ever in my life. Um, before this, before going natural, I never did my own hair. I always had somebody else do it. Um, but now, the times are hard, and I can't afford the hairstyles that I want. I'm doing them on my own. So practice makes perfect. Um, I have nine braids in my hair, and I know you're like nine braids, really. Uh, I have a small head, and I was trying to find. A ten. I was trying to get ten braids. I wanted it even, but my head just said there's no more room. Um, and I always have troubles um, keeping the back aligned straight because, unfortunately, my mom lied when she said that she had eyes on the back of her head. I'm realizing this. I was hoping that with time, my No avail. They're not there. <laughs> I'm gonna turn around now, and I wanna, I don't wanna see any laughing. I don't wanna hear anything. I don't want to hear no ghetto. Uh uh No, she didn't. No, I don't wanna hear it. So, you see, like we have some. It looks great in the front, and then like in the back because you know my head is so small. That, you know, I tried to, you know, um, do as best I could. And nobody's going to see it anyways because it's going to be all covered up. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to try to braid this in one braid. Um, and then um, I'm going to like pin it up or something like that. And then start crocheting over it. I like to crochet from the back forward um, because it takes me longer for the back, I guess. I have six packs of hair. I don't know if I'm going to need that much, but I'd rather have been safe than sorry. This is the crochet needle for all those who didn't know. It's the crochet needle with the little latch. That's why it's called a little latch. And what I'm using on the hair, according to the lady from the beauty supply, this is a must. You must eat this. Eat it. Yes, for the hair. Yeah. This will work. This will work good. For your hair. Yeah. This will work really good. Free touch. Free touch. Yes. <laughs> it's wet and wavy. Friends free. That's what I'm going to use to keep up the hair. It's better than mousse, what she said. So, see ya. So I forgot that I have to take my kids to a birthday party. And... I don't know if you hear them yelling, but um, not even half my head is done. This will look like. <laughs> so I'm being ghetto. They'll never know. 
it look like I'm trying to be cute. That's all. Do you hear these kids? She's like his mom. Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! I had the bottom half of the back done. I must say that this hair is the most difficult hair I ever had to deal with. It tangles. You gotta be very delicate with it. Um, it's beautiful, but it is difficult. Um, but because I paid my money. I'm gonna finish putting it in. So I have half my head done. I don't know, I'm doing some weird pattern. This is black and then I have, you know, this brown and blonde. About that long. So I have this much to go. And I'll be back. I'm pretty much done. This is what it's looking like. Um, I think that I look like something from The Lion King. But um, as usual, <laughs> I will spruce this up. Well, this thick. Um, there are about six packs of hair in my head. Um, I don't know if I made them too close or whatever, but what I'm doing right now to patch up some of the spaces to tighten them up um, is I'm taking some hair like that and I'm actually crocheting through two braids on each end. Latching it on and then pulling it through. Okay, like I'm going to crochet two, I actually just pull it out to make two and then tie a knot. So it looks a little like it's been weaved in the backs. Um, and I'll probably, I'm gonna do another one right here. If you can see, there's like an open air space. I'm gonna do like, once again, I stand by what I said. This is the most <laughs> difficult hair I have ever worked with. Um, I don't think I would buy it again. Um, unless I really, really like the outcome of how it looks as it gets older or something like that and feel like dealing with it, but it gets pretty tangled. Um, so I don't know. I wouldn't recommend it for, um, you know, anyone else. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it and see how it looks after I cut it. 